A media statement on behalf of the parliamentary representative for the area in which the family resided notes that the family's home was reportedly no longer connected to the Antigua Public Utilities Authority, APUA's electricity supply. The family therefore operated a small generator to provide electricity. Asleep, however, the family members seemingly inhaled the carbon monoxide emitted from the running machine during the night. The Honorable Malwin Joseph has noted that several hundred households made the best use of the APUA debt forgiveness arrangement promised by the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party during the recent campaign. They received debt forgiveness and had their power reconnected since the program was operationalized shortly after the June 12, 2014 victory of the ABLP. The minister noted the Labour Party government would have hoped that all families would have made use of this debt forgiveness promise and since had the electricity reconnected. We saw these tragedies occurring again and again by households who returned to candles, lamps and other improvised light sources because they could not afford to reconnect. I can only say how much I regret this sad turn of events. Minister Joseph left the state on Wednesday past for official business at the United Nations and will be returning to Antigua this coming week. He has indicated that he intends to pay a visit to the family upon his return and that his government will act to ensure that no such tragedy harms any more families anywhere in Antigua and Barbuda. The debt forgiveness program applies to those who owed up until December 31, 2013. This is Aisha Caleb reporting for ABS News.